Um, so, and just so everyone knows, all right, like, I was sharing this with somebody, and um, I want to share this with, with everybody. I just want to be open and share um, what, you know, share what's on my heart. There are times where, I got to be honest, I think, and I think all the leaders would agree with me, where we have those moments where we wonder if what we're doing even matters at all. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, are we making any kind of impact? Or are we just here doing the same thing over and over again with no measurable value at all? And uh, they, the work that goes in, I mean, we're talking about spiritual things that can be very heavy for us as leaders. We pray for every single one of you in here gets prayed for by name. You know, and and you know, we, we care deeply, deeply about you. And it's times like this that are really special to me because we get to reflect on <coughs> what the Lord has done. And these are really good opportunities for us to um, look and, and say thank you to God that we can have these moments to really um, be encouraged that what we are doing does matter. It's not just random and it's not pointless, but it matters. And so that's why we do this. That's why this is incredibly awkward for all of you. <laughs> Equally as awkward for me, but this is why we do this. It's important for us to honor you guys and, and to let you know how we really feel. So I'm gonna do that with each one of you guys, and one at a time, so whoever's coming up first. <laughs> Usually the person in the front of the line. How are you today? Great. You feeling strange now? Awkward? Or we just don't say anything for about five seconds. <laughs> it can get more awkward is what I'm trying to point out, okay? Um, I'm really excited you're moving into to high school. Um, I'm really excited because I've personally seen um, a lot of growth and, and changes in, in you. I remember the, the time we had um, where watching, you know, you really go through the process of really considering your walk with the Lord and making that decision to be baptized and and really to, to say, okay, I've had enough and I'm going to walk with Jesus. That's it. I, I need everyone to know that. And I need people to know that so that you can hold me accountable and, and everything. And to see how much you put yourself out there to be held accountable by a lot of other people has been really good. It's been really encouraging uh, for me to see. And I really appreciate the fact that you have willingly and voluntarily um, and excitedly offered yourself to um, a disciple. Uh, it brings me great joy um, to see how you've grown with the Lord. And I know that if the Holy Spirit was not uh, living in you, you'd be in a completely different And that's your testimony. And you hold on to that. And you think about that. And when you feel, like, especially going into high school, when you feel like things are hard and they're getting tough and you don't know where to go and you don't know where to turn and you wish that it would all just stop, remember that if the Holy Spirit wasn't living in you, this would be, these problems would be, the problems that you're experiencing are, are nothing compared to what you would be experiencing without that very presence of God, you know? And so uh, you hold on to what he's doing in your life because he's changing you. And he has some work left to do. Some work left to do. A little bit of work left to do. Yeah. All right. So um, what I want to give you is, is this book. Um, these are, um, everyone's going to get one. These are armed and dangerous books. So what this is, is we go through a lot of struggles in our lives and we often... Uh, we often wonder, oh, what does the Bible say about this thing? But then we don't know how to look for it. We don't know, all right, well, where's this subject? If it's not, if it's not um, listed with this thing by name, it's hard to find in the glossary. And if you do a Google search, you probably end up with some really terrible information. So um, we have these really cool armed and dangerous books. There's um, almost 100 topics in here. 
and you can turn to anyone that you're interested in, some struggle that you're having, maybe some point of confusion, and it has every single Bible passage that has to do with that particular issue in its context um, are, are in this book. So I want you to have this. It's going to be a great tool for you. Okay? Here you go. Congratulations. I've just really enjoyed having you around. You know, you're kind of quiet. I don't know if you realize that. But it's been really cool, actually. The last couple of months, you've been speaking. You know? So this has been really great. This has been really great. You know? And uh, I think one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite things was when we put the frog in your hood outside here in the bowl. That was really awesome. That was great. I wish we had a video camera on that, and I should have prepared for that because the reaction was fantastic, and I really enjoyed that. But man, it's just been such a real blessing having you here, and I really look forward to seeing how God works in your life, and really want to get to know you better. And so I hope we have that opportunity, and I'm really looking forward to it. All right, so I'm going to give you one of these as well. I'm not going to give you the same speech I just gave to Annabella, but here you go, all right? And if you have any questions about anything that's in that book, you can ask Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, so look so forward to having you. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Why are you standing so far away from me? <laughs> I might. Why are you leaning against, against the wall like that? What's that? Why are you leaning against the wall like that? Because it's about to fall down. I need to hold it up. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. Um, so you you obviously, I don't know how physics works, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so happy you can be here. You obviously have dance every Wednesday night. I'm done now. You're done now, so you're here now. And so I'm really happy to have you here. You know, I've missed you. I have. Same. I have missed you. Same. If anyone else right. says same, you're fired. You same. <laughs> yeah, um, no, I, I really missed having you on, on Wednesday night. You know, I'm looking forward to those times where you can be here. I really am. I really am. I know that you're involved and you come to the, the girls events and stuff like that. I'm not here for those. In that time to watch you, watch you grow up from what I hear from from uh, the, the girls' events and those things that you, you can do, I'm just really excited to see that. In, in press. I'm just really excited to have you around. I'm so excited you're here right now. I really, really am, all right? And so here, what do you think I'm gonna give you? Okay. Hey. <laughs> Someone's paying attention. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Eddie, Eddie, what's up, man? Edward, Edward. How are you doing? You doing good? Awesome. You know, um, I was talking to your mom uh, uh, about a month ago. We were talking about you. Um, so, uh, you know, that's always a great way to start a conversation, right? But we were talking, and I. My, I literally went like this. Anyone ever do this? Uh, I don't have anyone, glasses, so no. Any, anyone ever do this? You go like this? Yeah. Uh, so when I found out Eddie was going into ninth grade, I went like this. Seriously? Didn't he just start sixth grade this year? Man, the time has just flown by. That's the reason I say that. I say that because the time's flown by. It has flown by. It's been so rapid. It just it actually blew my mind. Yeah. Totally blew my mind. And when I started thinking, and you know, me, me and Tyler, I've talked, my glasses aren't on. I don't know where he is. But he's on. He's on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we've talked, and hey, purple shirt. We've, uh, we've talked and everything, and, and you know, just reflecting on uh, just your spiritual growth and your maturity as a young man of God. You know, and I, man. 
I wish I had someone like you in my life at your age as a friend. I wish I had that. And so I'm glad you get to be that for other people. All right, so before I cry, here's a book. <laughs> myself on this so I didn't do it okay and that you're probably happy that I didn't do it oh, um, but uh, I almost brought a picture of uh, oh. us with Ariana when she was eight oh. um, at, at the aquarium in Florida um, uh, Ariana we've um, been family for um, the last uh, uh, several years and, um, you know, so let me, let me keep this together, all right? We're just, we've been family. Um, I've seen you grow up. I think in that picture, you might be up to here on, on you short. You're about this big, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, you're pretty short. You're about this big. And so we've watched you grow up. Like, watched you grow up. Both, you know, from a little from a little kid into a teenager, some of that's been great. Some of that's been great. <laughs> some of that's been great. <laughs> no, but but when I think of you, I smile. Um, I I think of you almost as a little sister. <laughs> What's that? Okay. Thanks for the permission to keep going. Um, so, you know, I I've watched God work in your life. Okay, I've watched you grow not only from a little kid in, into a teenager, but I've actually watched God grow in your life and actually change you. I've watched transformation happen and occur, and we're not perfect. We all mess things up, and we are all, we're all jacked up. If perfection was the standard, man, we'd be hurting. I certainly wouldn't be up here on this microphone. Um, but I've watched how God has, has, has worked in your life, and one of my one of my proudest moments, one of the moments I look back at and smile at the greatest was being part of your, being able to baptize you. Um, just because I, I feel like you're such a close part of my family. So I just want to thank you for um, dealing with me. <laughs> because you don't just have to deal with me here. You see me way too much. <laughs> We see each other often, and I'm not sure if you enjoy that. <laughs> but, um, I just thank you for letting me be part of your life, and and you don't understand this now. I know you don't understand it, and I pray that you will. Um, but I'm the one who's blessed. Um, I'm I'm the one who's blessed. So I'm gonna give you this book. Now. <laughs> That's right, and I had to think back and say, you were in our Defending the Faith small group, like last year, and I was like, wow, time has really flown by. There was, there was a couple people where I actually stopped and said, 
wow, time has flown by and you're one of those people. And you've gotten taller in that time. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're thanking God for something. That's great. You know, but you have really, you've gotten taller. And, but you haven't just gotten taller. You've gotten a little bit more mature, uh, too. You know? And that's been great to see. You know? And, and you know, um, I just am really blessed to even have you here. When you're not here, I say, oh, man, I'm not here. I do that. And who's that who does that say? Is that you? Madison, the other Madison. <laughs> um, but no, you're often on our, often on our thoughts, often on our heart, and I'm just so excited to have you. Just can't wait to see what God does in your life, going here into into, into ninth grade. It's a whole new thing for you, whole new whole new experience, and I'm really so looking forward to it. And I thank you so much for enduring and being part of not only this but being part of our lives. I know all the leaders would agree with me on this and say that you guys are part of our lives. And we thank you for being a part of our lives. Oh. Here's the